Hi, my name is Matthew Belisario. Thanks for coming by the Belisario Sonic YouTube channel from the heart of the Deep South on the outskirts of Birmingham, Alabama, where we talk about music, records, do record reviews, have conversations with wonderful musicians who've taken the time to come on the channel and talk with me. If you missed the uh, last interview with Simon Phillips this past Sunday that I did, go check that out. He took the time, was nice enough to come on the channel and talk to me about how you make a digital recording sound analog. Everybody wants to know that. All record collectors want to know. Uh, and he, he really, uh, in about a little over an hour, he explains and goes through uh, the history of his recording experience and then talks about how he gets his records to sound so fantastic. So if you missed that, go check that out. And in fact, I'll put a link below. If you're watching this video, today is Thursday. I'm dropping more reviews because I have to catch up on some of these sealed records because they are. I'm running out of time to exchange them if there's a problem. I, I purchased quite a few together and I'm trying to catch back up, so I'm trying to do more reviews and get caught up. Today I have a really cool record by Yeppe Zako, who uh, is from Denmark. He was born in 1982, started playing saxophone around 15 years old on the recommendation of his father. He has received Danish Music Award twice um, in 2013 and 2016 with the band called Jazz Five. This is his first solo record. I'm gonna be opening this up. This is on the April Records label. Now, if you remember, not too long ago, I did this. I did a review also on the April Records label of this Rasmus Sorensen album, which is a trio record. This is a fantastic album. So if you missed that, go back and check this out. If you're into jazz trios, these guys are awesome. You've got, you know, you've got Rasmus on here playing piano. You've got the great uh, Kendrick Scott on drums, and then you've got Alexander Clappy on uh, bass. So if you missed this, go check it out. Long story short, I came across this record once I found this record. So I went on there and started looking up different April Records recordings, and I ran across this one, and I listened to it online, and I was like, man, this is a really cool record. I need to get it. It's been sitting here for over a month. It's already out of warranty, so I hope that um, it's in, it doesn't need to be returned because I bought this on Amazon, and it's now past the return date, and I've got several here down by my feet here that I have to get done. So I'm gonna be trying to crank more of these reviews out. And again, I'm really interested in promoting working musicians, people that are putting out records right now. And so, all right, I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna drop it on the turntable. Um, I've listened to this a couple times streaming. It caught my attention. I purchased it and uh, I've, I've just been so busy um, you know, doing other things here, preparing for interviews, doing other reviews and so forth that um, I forgot about this one sitting here. And I was like, I got to do this. I got to, you know, because it really caught my attention when I listened to it online. And uh, so we're going to open this up and we're going to have a listen. So again, this, he is uh, from Denmark. Um, he's been a saxophone teacher for quite a while in Fredericksburg. Um, and has been in the Danish music scene for some time. So here he's got... An interesting lineup. We're going to talk about who's playing on here. Nothing like opening up a new record, right? So again, on the April Records label here. Let's take this out. Comes with the uh, April Records insert advertisement here. And there's still more on this label I want to get. I've got a, I've got like some of them saved on the on Amazon that I want to buy. I've just got too many. I've been spending too much money on records, and I got to get caught up on reviews. This does come in the anti-static sleeve, so no worries there. The uh, Rasmus Sorensen record did sound very good. It was a nice recording, so I'm expecting. Hopefully, this will be um, the same experience. I'm going to go ahead and clean this off. We got a green label and a brown label. I'm gonna wipe this off here. Got a little, I can see a little debris on it. Okay. Playing this on the Fluence RT85 with the Ortofon Blue 
cartridge going through a shit money preamp into my Yamaha HS8 speakers. So, just for all of you people out there that are curious as to what I'm listening to it through, it's a very um, mid buy system that most people can afford. Uh, it's a pretty nice sounding uh, setup, really, and the Yamaha HSH really give me a nice transparent sound, and it works well with the combination that I have. Um, so, all right, let me make sure this is wiped off. I'm going to put on side A, talk a little bit more about this band, and have a listen. One of, Again, one of the, <laughs> I love doing is playing these records for you guys and sharing this new music with you. Uh, these songs here range, you know, six, almost seven minutes, um, five minutes and 37 seconds, seven minutes and 49 seconds, 538, 509, 405, and 449. So just a little information there. So you kind of know what to expect. You got room enough for everybody to play here, but they're not, you know, real extended tunes. I think this is probably the longest, one of the longest tunes on here. The first one. All right, so here we go. Side A, dropping it on. We've got six players on here. sound of recording it's got at the same volume this has got it's pretty hot cut it sounds wonderful though you've got depth to it nice wide sound stage you've got you can hear everything that's a nice mix the bass sounds really nice so 
So you got Yepe Zako playing the tenor. Jonas Dew playing trumpet, flugelhorn. Thomas Borno playing piano. Anders Feldstead playing double bass. Heinrich Holst on drums. And Aliyah Lazo on the congos, uh, congas on uh, two songs, El Bravo and Loyal Soldiers. So it's really five people with the addition of the congas on those two tracks. They're all his own compositions. It's awesome. Highly recommended. Awesome playing. How great is that someone's writing stuff like this right now? Almost like a hard bop, post bop thing going on. Nice flat pressing. Sounds good so far. Fantastic, man. Awesome, man. smoking I mean, how something like this goes we can't don't let this one get overlooked pass this one on share it with other people give the thumbs up get the music out so people can hear this it's fantastic I'm, ex I'm as excited about this as i am the mamiko watanabe album that i reviewed not long ago which is phenomenal Soldiers, loyal soldier. Here you got those congas. Yeah, nice sounding record.
So this was uh, recorded by Thomas Vang, mix and master by Heinrich Holst Hansen. Did a fantastic job. Sounds nice. I'll flip it over. We'll listen to a song off the other side. So I appreciate you guys hanging out. Again, giving the thumbs up, leaving your comments, sharing this wonderful music with other people. Cuts are awesome. Yeah, nice sounding record, man. Great playing. Awesome that this that, that Yepe is writing his own music. I love that. You know, it's one thing. You know, I love standards. Everybody loves standards, but it's it's really refreshing when you have um, a whole record full of original compositions especially with this level of playing and again it sonically sounds really nice so i'm digging it if you can't already tell this one's called el bravado which means brave one nice yeah Yeah, don't let this one slip by. It's like this one here. Don't let this one slip by you. This is awesome. So far, these are probably my two favorite records of the year for new releases. And I've got an interview with her coming up. Not, not this coming Sunday, the Sunday after.
sounds awesome. Yeah. Digging it. Got a lot more stuff coming up. Up this Sunday, interview with Miguel Atwood Ferguson. I did a review of this album, four record set, fantastic record, wonderful body of work. I mean, it's like three and a half hours worth of music. This coming Sunday, interview with Miguel. So please tune in for that. You're really going to want to hear what he has to say about his career and about what it took to put this together. So. Every Sunday at noon, I'll be dropping these interviews. So, or I like to call them conversations, Sunday conversations. record it has such a diverse you know diverse sound to it from one track to the next but it really makes a nice listening experience we have to uh, see if I can get him on to talk about this record I think that'd be really cool find out how he put this together how he wrote all the songs. Came up with all the arrangements and stuff, yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna let one more track play. I'm gonna let this Omnivore play, or at least play into this track before I close out uh, the video. I appreciate you guys again hanging out. I know I'm kind of like a DJ here. I love sharing this music with you guys, so. Again, if you give it a thumbs up, you leave comments, you share the video, it just helps these artists out to get their music out there. And that's what's most important for me in doing these reviews. Nice flat record, sounds good, I haven't heard any noise. So, so far both of these April Records pressings have been good pressings and they've been pretty good sounding recordings. So again, if you missed this balancing act album, fantastic as well. So I look forward to getting more of these April Records recordings for sure, checking some more of these out.
folks. Thank you for joining me. Go check this out. Another one to pick up that needs to be heard. We'll see you on the next video. Happy listening to all of you.